Good morning. I am at IB's place today. Isabel is with her granddad because it's half term and she fancied just going to spend the night at granddad's place. Today is the day I'm hopefully going to get my computer fixed. The laptop is going to the laptop doctor. Oh, it's nice and warm out here. It's a really mild and gentle breeze. Very nice. Got the sun in my eyes though. Um, I'm just waiting for IB. He's in the house. He had to take a work call just quickly. So the plan is we're going to take the laptop to the computer doctor and then we're going to have breakfast and a little calf, just the two of us and the camera. And then IB's quite interested in getting an RV. So we're going to have a little look at one and then we'll do a bit of shopping and then pick the laptop up, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I've dropped the laptop off now in the computer shop and we've just parked the car. IB's on another work call. His phone hasn't stopped this morning. It's been very busy. And uh, yeah, we're going to go and have breakfast shortly. We're going to walk through a field. There are all these fluffy things in the air. Look, coming off trees, I presume. IB is loving this gate and he's oh, stopped no, photographing. It's a two-way hinge. It's not two -way hinge. Let me shoot it from the other angle for you. Look. Right. You uh, were. That's noisy as well. Well, it is, yeah. I think it's an ingenious design, that's all. It's like a dog with a lamppost. Every time we come to a fence or a gate, it gets all interested. It's not just a fence or a gate, it's anything with a Which way? interesting in ingenuity and imagination. Oh, okay. I was obviously not seeing the whole picture there. You obviously weren't. Cappuccino. Mmm, delish. That was nice. We've had our brekkie now and we're gonna just go and have a look at this RV. Apparently it's just parked at the side of the road with a number on it so we're not gonna ring it yet. We're just gonna go and have a little look, see if it's the sort of thing that he's interested in. Coming to Ponty Pool now. Well, okay, here it is. A custom camper. Here it is. Sorry, I'm just blocking out the number because I'm not quite sure whether I ought to publish that online. But yeah, here it is. My other half is just phoning the number. You can see all the hills reflected in the darkened windows. I can sort of see in. There's a cooker. There's a cooker in there. I can just about see. It looks like a ceramic hob top. Uh, IB's on the phone talking about mileage and stuff. It's getting a bit windy. Hey, never mind the camper. Look at that. I wonder if that's for sale. Look, it's all tumbled down. Should we go and have a closer look at it? Two minutes. There's a little play area by there. Nobody's in it at the moment. Sign of the time is really in it. Look, half term week, all the kids are off school, but they're not in the park. Danger, keep out. An old derelict church. I find this sort of thing fascinating. All I want to do is just go in there now, but I suppose I better not. Well, those graves are absolutely not cared for. Look how old they are. Some young boys have just come and restored my faith in the youth of today and are kicking a ball around in that park now. Caution! This churchyard is unsafe. Yeah, I think we gathered that. I was just looking at these stones and IB thinks it's a slag left over from the steelworks. He's not sure, but yeah, funny looking texture, isn't it? There it is, it's not for sale. It's going to rack and ruin though. We were just chatting to some locals about it. Right, back in the car then. The next mission is to go and get my computer with all its new casing and no longer smashed. Yay! We've just come up here to see what was up here. And it's a beautiful view. It used to be a mining area. I take it that's all slag over there. This, I am reliably informed, is Talawine. Ta -da! It's windy. Hopefully my fluffet's doing a good job. Cattle grid. Apparently sheep can roll over these things. I don't know if that's a, like an urban myth or a rural myth even. Oh no. 
Now, everyone knows we've been eating Monster Munch in the car. Well, only because you filmed it. Nobody else would have known. <laughs> he did the Monster Munch. <laughs> Munch good. Oh. I was working late in the lab one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. My monster from the slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he, he did, did the, the munch. munch. He did the monster munch. He did the munch. <laughs> he did the monster munch. He did the monster munch. <laughs> he did the munch. <laughs> Okay, so we were getting my laptop, now we are apparently shopping. The thing is, you see, we would have needed to pay for parking, so we thought, well, if we park in the supermarket and do shopping, then that uh, saves a quid, so that's what we're doing. My bee's looking for courgettes specifically, for a specific reason, but we can't seem to find them at the moment. He did say he wanted a butternut squash. It's the middle aisle. Colour me in picnic blanket. <laughs> I'd probably colour it in with stains over the years as I gradually spilt food and drink on it. Let's get out of here before we make impulse purchases that we can't afford. We only came in for a courgette. We've ended up with a great big bag full of shopping and more. He's got all the other stuff. I'm back at IB's with my laptop with its new casing. Look at that. All fixed up. Oh, let's just lift it up so you can see. Look, this is... Yeah, that's the kind of um, cover that IB put on the other day. Anyway, look, it's all fixed up, and now I can do this. Donna, oh, hang on, let's just put the camera down. Look, look at that. Without any crunching or cracking and breakage and bits of plastic falling off, how marvellous. It's the small things. You don't half appreciate funny little things like that when you haven't had it for quite a long time. So I'm happy now. IB's going to get on with some work for a couple of hours and I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog, I think, or at least I'm going to make a start on it. And uh, then I'm going to go and meet up with Isabel. Just on our way back to Newport Rail Station now and then I'm going to get the train to Cardiff. Look, we've got some castle ruins there, look. A very small amount of them. I'm going to be um, meeting Izzy at a group before it's much longer, but before I do that I need to go and buy her some socks. There seems to be quite a lot of people getting on that train that I just got off. I'm in Cardiff Central Station here, just looking at the clock ahead here. I've got just under an hour, then I have to head off. I still can't get over the new construction here, right outside Cardiff Central. I think it's amazing. I'm going this way anyway. I'm going to head to H&M, I think, get some socks for my little girl. There's even more construction work going on, look. I'm very excited when it's all finished. My city's transforming before my very eyes. There's the library there. I've just come up Mill Lane, which is there. It's John Lewis. I'm just going to hop in here because there's an H&M in there. H&M's just here. I got the socks and I'm leaving the shop. Ah, look at that, next door to Vu. 
so just for your uh, bearings look if you're watching this in the future that's the current state of Wood Street Cardiff I'm just by the stadium here as I said look it's all change at the moment it looks so different when I was a kid but it's getting late now and I'm gonna go and collect Izzy from her group it's been lovely hanging out with you do feel free to subscribe to this channel to follow more of our adventures and comment down any thoughts below hit the like button if you'd like to support the channel and i'll see you in the next one bye